Hi, this is David Ferrer, and I am here with my good friends Simon and Alex, training with Top Tennis Training. Hey guys, Simon here from Top Tennis Training. This video is all about positioning in singles. Now, if you've had a tennis lesson before, you've probably been told by the coach, recover back to the middle. Now, in singles, the only time you'd ever recover back to the middle is actually when you've hit the shot into the middle of the court. At all other times, you'd be recovering to a different part of the court. So if you've been told to recover back to the middle, why is this bad? Now, the first thing is, if I hit a ball, for instance, if I hit my forehand cross court, from here, I play a cross court forehand. Now, my opponent's best shot will be a shot back cross court. If I recover back to the middle, I'm actually giving this shot over here away. So the short angle, because I'm standing in the middle here, my opponent has that chance to go cross court angle and really open the court. If I recover slightly off center, so somewhere here, I'm going to be able to cover the cross court shot from my opponent, which is the high percentage play and the play that most players will play. So they're going to play back cross court to me here. I can cover that shot with a couple of steps and if they play down the line it's not traveling away from me unless they put some sort of side spin on the ball then it will be traveling away from me but the best shot that my opponent can hit from this position is the angle cross court the ball is going to be traveling away from me so I have to be here and in fact the shorter my angle cross court so the wider I play my shot and the wider the player is off the court when he hits that ball the less I recover. So if I've hit my ball from here and I go a really short cross court angle here, I only have to recover somewhere here to cover my opponent's best shot which will be that angle cross court. Now the same would be true for the backhand side for a right handed player. So if I hit my backhand anywhere from here cross court, I would be recovering off center somewhere here. Now if I play my backhand down the line, my opponent's best shot will then turn into that forehand cross court. Now we're assuming that most players were playing a right handed. So if I play my, my backhand down the line to here, my opponent's best shot is this angle. I have more steps to recover and this is one of the reasons why the cross court shot is a higher percentage and the safer shot. Because once you play down the line, you have to get from this position here to this position here to cover your opponent's angled shot. So if I play my forehand cross court I would recover to here. If I play my backhand down the line I'm recovering here. So forehand cross or backhand line this is my recovery position. If I play my backhand cross court or my forehand down the line this would be my recovery position. The only time I recover into the middle of the court is if I've hit my shot into the center of the court. That's the only time I would recover into the center. So a general rule when you're playing singles is you want to be in the middle of your opponent's two best shots. Normally the best shot will be the cross court angled and the down the line shot, but the down the line shot is going almost towards you, especially if you've hit the ball quite wide towards the tram line, that ball's traveling towards you, whereas the angled shot is going away from you. So if you've hit the ball in the middle, your opponent's best two shots from the center of the court will be somewhere about here and somewhere here, unless you're playing Roger Federer who can hit the most ridiculous angle. Now if I play anything to this side of the court, my opponent's two best shots will be an angle here and a down the line, but if I play quite wide this shot, then this ball is going to be traveling this way and it's going to be coming into me. So I don't need to worry too much about the down the line shot. If I play anything to this side, my opponent's best shot is that angle cross court here and the down the line shot, but the down the line is again traveling towards me, especially if I've hit this one quite wide. Now if you're approaching a net, it's very different because on the baseline you're always covering the cross court shot in singles. When you're approaching the net, you're always covering the down the line shots. So if I hit to this side of the court, if this is my target area, let's say I'm hitting here, this triangle. If I'm hitting to this triangle here, 
I have to be slightly off centre here at the net to cover my opponent's best shot which is down the line. The high percentage shot is a cross court but it's easier to cover that because I have more time. If I hit my approach shot to here, to this triangle, I have to get to this part of the court. So what I always like to use is my foot that's closest to the centre line. So if I'm on this side of the court, that would be my left foot, will be just off the centre mark. If I'm on this side, the back end wing, my right foot will be almost touching that centre mark when I come in for the short ball. Now this is one of the big reasons why most players will approach down the line because you're already covering that down the line shot. If you approach cross court, you have more space. So if I'm here, I hit my backhand cross court into the opponent's backhand wing, I have to get from here, where I hit my approach shot, to here to cover the down the line shot. This is why the down the line approach shot is a safer bet. So that's the basic positioning for singles. Look out for one on doubles coming up quite soon. And if you like this video, please click the like button underneath. Share it with your friends as well. And leave a comment. Have you been told to recover to the middle of the court before? And if so, are you going to stop doing it from now on? Hi, this is David Ferrer. I am here with my good friends Simon and Alex from Top Tennis. Planning to help you with your tennis. Are you losing matches because you're using the wrong tactics against the type of opponent you're playing? Are you losing matches because you're too nervous to compete at your best? Are you losing matches because you're not physically fit enough or are unaware of the tennis related fitness you should be using to prepare for a match? I can help with your problems and reveal my secrets to win. To join the free David Ferrer Secrets of Tennis course, all you have to do, click on the link above or underneath this video. See you inside.